so that what happens when I set all of these to be transparent we now see through the titles the film texts are no longer visible so now all I see is the outline border that I've set up for the border of the stamps if I want no borders on these stamps you can still see it sees, has a little bit of a shadow here if I want to turn the shadow off I can set my size to zero and come back here to borders if I want to be actually able to see the borders the active borders are the same thing as you had in the chapter menus again this is going to be a light purple around the one that we have currently selected and it'll change to this color based on whatever one we choose to hit OK on and you can always open these up and change the colors that you want if you want to that's completely your choice on these active borders but again it's not going to be seen until your final DVD is played back in your DVD player I'm actually going to leave these borders off so I'm going to turn them off for now so that I'm only going to see the activation border around this first one or whatever I set up as my first film when this pops up on the DVD menu so that's it I've set the control up for menu so this will come up to the main DVD menu the background I chose my animated background that I've already created as some layers I've set the stamps to be as, as invisible stamps to wrap around those titles and I've gotten rid of my borders my film texts as alpha and my shadow so the only other option here is active borders which I'm happy with and I don't need to make any saves of these if I don't want to you can always save some of these settings so now we're ready to actually physically write your DVD but first I might recommend coming down here to this section called the info play section again under film we can actually see the listings of what is your first film in the series this is what's going to be your trailer playing when you go put it in the startup but we have it set to menu so it's going to come up to the main menu for these two but if I wanted to rearrange the order of these films I can certainly do that so that the wedding is first and the wedding montage is second in the listings when you work on your DVD menu and it still gives you the information about each one of these if you'd like or the ability to remove the film and re-add it if you'd like the all button is a really cool thing that it actually creates a virtual DVD it's going to be how the DVD is going to behave once your DVD menu is created so we do want to hit create here to start the create DVD menu so it's going to build the animated DVD menu in the background with your thumbnail stamps if you had chosen a still scene for your DVD background menu then this process will be much quicker but it does have to build this menu and this will differentiate between the different Casablanca models of how quickly this builds but again we'll speed this up for the purpose of the demo once the creation process is finished for creating the DVD menu you can now hit play to start the animated background and virtual DVD this is what it's going to look like when it comes out on your final printed DVD if you right click during this process you can bring up your remote controls to actually choose which films you'd like to play and work with so I can select either this one or I can go back to your other one you can play pause stop your DVD but this is the way you can actually check it before you burn it out on your disk in this case I'm going to choose the highlight section and go ahead and start it and you can see the selection color change there and here it's starting right up here with this particular small montage that was created and we can right click to bring back up your film panel here to pause or to do whatever you need to do if you need to return back to the main DVD menu I'll right click back out of there everything seems to be okay and I can hit okay at this point we could actually physically write our DVD before writing your DVD one thing you might want to check is down here under miscellaneous is your settings under settings this is going to tell you how quickly your DVD is going to be burnt if it's going to be burned at a normal speed or a high speed if you have a high speed DVD in here and you have a verify option here if you want the final disk to be verified so that it compares the information in your arabesque to the information on your disk to make sure everything's okay the disk transfer format is not going to have any bearing here because we're using arabesque as a video DVD mode and then you have your listing of other options here to tell you what current media your DVD burner supports in this case this DVR 105 or Pioneer 105 can handle the minus R or minus RW formats so I do need to go out and get DVD dash R's or DVD minus R's in order to burn here the plus R's are not supported if I set this to high I can do a high speed burn in this Casablanca Prestige if you're working on an Avio or an older model Cron 
you will only be able to burn in the normal speeds. Other Casablancas will give you this option to work in high to take advantage of the full speed. This point now, when you click Write DVD, your tray door will pop open. You can physically put in your disc, and you can simply manually shut the DVD tray door. Once that's done, you'll actually start the burn process and write your final project onto your disc. When the process of writing your DVD is finished, it's going to ask you if you want to verify. If you had left in your settings here, this set to dash, it'll ask you yes or no to verify. And you can hit no if you don't want to have the verification done. If this check mark is on, then when the burn process is complete, it'll also do the verify process. And then you'll be back right here on the DVD arabesque menu. At that point, you can then eject your DVD tray door, take your disc out, and put it into an external DVD player to check your final results and also allow you to get access to your chapter menus that you created using DVD Arabesque 3 when you set up your films. A couple of other buttons to mention in here in the Arabesque program. One is the Read DVD. The Read DVD allows you to take a previously burned Casablanca disc or most non-copyrighted discs and read them into Arabesque so that you can make new copies using your Write DVD command. Very useful if you've created a master DVD disc for maybe a couple or a client and you want to make new copies later when you've cleared out the arabesque. The read DVD function only reads back into arabesque. This is not going to read into your edit bin to put them back into the scene bin. If you want to do that, then you'll need to connect an external DVD player and play the footage in as if you were playing a tape to record them into the scene bin. Another option you have here is called Erase DVD-RW. If you do have any rewritable disc or an RW disc, you can put in a blank RW disc in here and have it blanked out so that you can rewrite on it. Their RW discs do not leave space on them. They do finalize in the arabesque, so you cannot leave blanks on there to add progressively. So it will erase it here, and it will write it here and complete it. Under the settings, just also to mention, you might want to check under the website, under the support section, our tech support's got information on firmware versions. You want to make sure your Pioneer DVD burner is up to date with the current firmware that's expected for that particular burner. You also want to confirm that you have the latest version of your DVD arabesque, and make sure that everything seems to be okay with your supported media and your settings here for your burn process. So that is your Arabesque 3 software, allowing you to now incorporate chapter menus on your DVD projects, allow you to put in new start movies, or allow you to go right to the chapter menu when you start your project. One additional item that Arabesque 3 offers is that in the read DVD function, if you do read a disc back in here, you can also add films to this new DVD. So this copy that went in here that you could write could have additional films now added to it when you start working with it. Just remember that the read DVD function does need to clear out all the current projects in Arabesque to write that disc in here. That's why it's giving you the message, reading it in is going to delete all the films. Are you sure you want to do this? And you'd hit OK. It'll copy that disc in here, and it'll have those films listed in that you put on the original disc. But the Arabesque 3 now allows you to go into Add Film and add new films to this previously read in disc. So Arabesque 3 definitely gives you some new options, allowing you to create new chapter menus for your projects so you actually have visual thumbnail stamps of those and also allows you to actually play those chapter menus right on startup of the projects or allows you to go right in the project and play them and then use your DVD remote to bring up the chapter menus. Arabesque 3, check it out at your local dealer or from Macro System US.